What's up guys, Ryan with Jelly Patrol, back with another video. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Assault Tank Commander from Hot Toys, let's roll. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video today. I I'm super excited for this because as a trooper, you guys know I love my freaking Hot Toys troopers. I don't care if they're clone troopers, storm troopers, Tank troopers, short, I, I, I just like all the troopers. I like having like different variants of them. Although the first order trooper, maybe not my favorite trooper, uh, just due to posability. So there's that. Uh, anyways, I got this guys uh, right here from Pop Collectibles. You want to check out like overseas, first batch, second batch shipping without rating months and months and months for figures. Check them out, link in the description below, the discount code down there for you. Uh, Assault Tank Commander, let's talk about this for just a brief second. Here's the back of the box for anybody who's actually curious about what the hell the box is. Um, this figure was teased and shown on different Comic Cons way back, like years and years and years again, along with Baze Malbus, along with some other ones like Padme and just different figures. I think they did a Cassian at once too. Like we totally need a Cassian, but anyways. I digress. This figure right here is finally here and I'm super excited for it. And we didn't really have to wait all that long for it. However, there are a couple things with this just right off the bat. Uh, I've already unboxed it and this is kind of like me, like a preview of what you're about to see, I guess. Um, doesn't come with a whole lot of accessories. We literally have like six hands, uh, an E11 blaster and a display stand and that's, that's all you get. So not a whole lot to come with on that. Although it does have this one weird piece that I, I, I feel like I should uh, show you guys. It's this stupid thing right here that goes in front of the display stand. I don't know why with the Rogue One figures they included these things. I don't get it. I literally have a box of them and I have no idea which figure they go with because I have a box of stands. Uh, I, this is really silly. I don't know why. It, leave this in the... Leave it in a box. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but the figure looks beautiful. And I'm super excited to show you kind of what we came up with. So let's just go ahead and get into it. All right. Can we just talk about how freaking gorgeous this figure is? I mean, seriously. Tell me you're looking at this right now and you don't think this figure is beautiful. For a Stormtrooper design, I mean, we, we just recently got our Artillery Trooper. Uh, I did do a video on that. I don't know if it's released yet, but I, I did do a video on Artillery Trooper. We got the uh, recent... Um, Stormtrooper Commander or Squad Leader, I guess is what they renamed it to. And those designs, like we've seen before, the, the artillery troopers got some, you know, yellowish, orangish paint on it, which is, is gorgeous as well. Don't get me wrong. This is a complete departure from that design, uh, specifically for Rogue One. And I am so happy Hot Toys finally gave us this figure. We just need the rest of Rogue One. That would be really nice. You know, base Malbus with some others, you know, it's a Cassian. Why don't we flip and have a Cassian yet? I don't know. Uh, but a couple of things on this pose I want you to note. Uh, one, the extreme bend in that front ankle. Look at that thing. This guy is balanced well. The uh, ball joint on the ankle uh, allowing a strong range of motion on the back leg. You can see that. It's, it's like Spider-Man-like. It's freaking Spider-Man-like. Hot Toys finally gave us a split boot, uh, which is just absolutely gorgeous. The color of the pant, that dark gray, uh, that's beautiful. This, it just the weathering about it, everything is just gorgeous on this figure. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit, uh, give it a little closer look at some of these details because actually, let's, let's go down here for a second. I want you to look at these ankles. Look at this. Now you could say, uh, I should hide that ankle you know, joint a little bit better, but I did this for the purpose so you guys can actually see like you can actually get some crazy articulation out of that ankle. And then look at this one. Look at this one with the freaking spider ankle right there. Like that's that's quite fantastic. Uh, so going up, you can see the design of the pant. And then the weathering on this is absolutely just, just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then we got that iconic tank commander helmet. I just freaking love this thing. I'm um, big fan of this. And I, like I said earlier, I, I know I'm gushing over this thing because it is a trooper, but I think it, I think it deserves it, right? It's a beautiful figure. And uh, we're going to break out some other figures. We're going to have some fun with this guy. Um, but I, I would recommend it. Let's take a minute just to slow everything down, take a close look at this figure as far as the weathering and detail goes, because I think they did a really, really good job with this thing. Uh, starting off with the helmet, uh, the weathering in the 
creases of the helmet where the folds are. I just think it looks great. They did a nice little wash on that. Um, the paint application on the overall figure is a matte finish, if you will. It's definitely not high gloss like you would see on an Imperial Stormtrooper. This is a matte finish, which I think per works perfectly for uh, for Jetta. And uh, I, I think it matches with the Scarif Troopers or Shore Troopers, which we'll see shortly. I think it looks fantastic, so I'm a big fan of that. The color schemes are fantastic as well because the the uh, armor with this dark, dark, like a graphite gray, uh, it, just, it just looks awesome. And then this one little pop of color, just, just one little pop of red color they've got right here, uh, I think just kicks it up a notch. I think without that, I, I, it would be missing something. So the credit to the costume designer who decided to put that on there is probably a ranking insignia. It's probably what that is. Um, but this is uh, is actually quite uh, quite nice. Even down to the belt. Like the belt application there is, is nice. You, you can, uh, it does move around. So if you need to get it out of the way, you can definitely do that. Uh, the pants, I think, are well done. They're just a simple. There's no weathering on the pants, but they are well done. The colors, I think, work perfectly. So I have no issues with that. And then we go down to this. Uh, knee armor, shin armor. I mean, it's look how much weathering is on there. It's quite, it's quite a lot. So you can actually see like each little, you know, uh, greedily, I guess, if you will, on the, uh, on the armor. And I think this just looks freaking awesome. Just kind of flipping around to the back. You can see, uh, again, the weathering just definitely continues on the back of the, uh, shin armor. Uh, we've got the pant that kind of goes up here. We've got our nice little canister and then look, at the detail on this back part of this uh, armor. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. So this may be, and I've got a lot of a lot of troopers, this may be my favorite trooper design out of all the ones that I currently have in the collection. Now we know the posing ability of stormtroopers. We've had so many stormtrooper videos coming up, or recently released. Uh, coming up with poses is very difficult because you don't want to do the same ones you did in other videos. Well, at least I don't. So anyways, I'm going to do a couple groupings here. We've got, first off, we've got the Jetta Patrol TK14057 to his right. And we've got the actual Jetta Patrol, Jetta Patrol guy <laughs> to the left uh, with this uh, tank trooper. This thing, these guys look amazing, which they should because they came from the same film, uh, which I found very weird that it didn't actually put Rogue One on the box art of uh, of this tank trooper. But whatever, it's fine. Uh, he was in Mando as well. Um, but thank God we got Mando. So we could get all our Rogue One troopers. So hopefully we'll, we'll get some more. But these guys look quite amazing together. So pairing troopers together with different uh, types of troopers always looks good. Uh, but I do I do dig this one. So, you know, I said earlier this tank trooper is probably going to be my favorite trooper. That TK14057 on the back right is pretty pretty uh, fantastic in my opinion. So uh, we'll we'll see how that, uh, how that, you know, ends up in the end. But let's kind of... Uh, We'll kind of zoom in here a little bit to give you guys a little bit of a closer look on this guy. So I've just got him kind of like, you know, telling everybody to halt uh, with that right hand. And he's kind of holding the blaster with that hand with the relaxed hand. So that kind of works. Kind of dig that. And uh, I just think all these guys look pretty, pretty good together. So pretty stoked for that. Let's do another grouping. Maybe some, um, some shore troopers might look pretty good. Let's make that happen. All right, guys, we got our tank trooper right here in front of our shore troopers in because they just look amazing like this and i very much like so i this is probably how i'm gonna have mine displayed until my second tank trooper arrives this is freaking cool really uh so it, as much as i liked him with the other the tk14057 and the uh jet patrol trooper i think he kind of matches these guys also just due to the helmet design uh, so depending on how you want to uh, display yours, there's some options for you. Uh, simple poses, guys. This this guy literally was in a tank pointing for people to blow up stuff. So there's that. Uh, but I do think he looks pretty freaking awesome right here. But I will give you just a little bit of a close-up on uh, on this guy with these other guys. So we've got uh, we've got our grunt back here with his little tray, his little cafeteria tray. He's, he's, he's happy. He's ready to do his thing. Uh, another grunt back there. I mean, look at this guy. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got our squad leader over here to his right. And then uh, our captain over here to his right. So a lot of a lot of cool stuff going on there. You could focus. That would be amazing. Um, 
I guess it doesn't want to today. But these guys look absolutely fantastic together, and I'm super happy to have them in the collection. So we're going to keep this video short. Uh, we're not going to do a thousand poses on this guy, but I do want to show you that it does look great, uh, depending on which figures you want to have him posed with. So uh, if you want to pick one of these up, check out Pop Collectibles. Link in the description below is discount code down there for you guys as well. And uh, I'm hoping Hot Toys will drop us some more Rogue One Troopers or Rogue One figures. I don't know why we don't have a Cassian yet, but hopefully with the new Andor series, maybe we'll get one of those. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. Which Rogue One figure character have they not released that you would like to see? Put it in the comment section down below. Let's talk about it. As always, click what you like. See you next time.